Hello, this is Dave Kroll from Imagine That. This is a quick tutorial on ExtendSim's equations. We're going to be building an equation that compares a random value to a threshold value and counts the number of times the random value exceeds the threshold. So I've put together a small model with a couple of blocks in there. I have a, a random number block that generates a random number and a constant block which will be our threshold. We're going to add an equation which will uh, calculate the number of times the random number exceeds the threshold. So I'll begin by dropping an equation block in. I'll go to the value library and pull an equation block into the model. And if I double click on the equation block, I open the dialog, and you'll see that there are three separate panes in the block. There's one for the input variables, or the inputs to the equation block, the output variables, or the results from the equation, and then the equation itself is on the bottom in the middle. In this case, we're going to have three input variables. We're going to have the threshold value, the random number, and then we're going to have a, a variable that counts the number of times the uh, random number has exceeded the threshold. So if I click on the plus or minus in the lower right-hand side of the input variables table, I can change the number of rows. So I want three rows, one for each variable, and two of these will be connectors. One will be connected to the constant block, that's the threshold. The random number block will be connected to the second connector. And the third one is going to be a different kind of variable called a static multi-run um, init variable. So let's name these. The first one will be threshold. The second one is random value. And the third one will be static multi-run init. And this means that at this, it will be saved between iterations of the equation, but at the beginning of every simulation run, it will be reinitialized. And this we'll call counter. And we'll initialize its value by clicking on the variable value column, and we're going to initialize this to zero. So we're going to start our count at zero. Then we'll have one output value, and this will be a connector, and this will be the value of our counter, so we're just copying the value from the counter to our output, and we'll call this count out. Now, in the equation window, I will type in the equation. This extensum uses a C syntax, so if you're familiar with C, you'll be quite comfortable with this, but if you're not familiar with C, don't worry, it's not hard. The biggest thing to remember is to end each statement with a semicolon. So I'm going to begin with an if statement. So I'll say if random value is greater than threshold, I will say counter equals counter plus 1. Now, if you know C, obviously you could do a counter plus plus as well, but uh, this is a little easier for people who don't know C to understand. Then I need to set the output variable to the value of counter, so I say count out equals counter. And notice I've ended these statements with a semicolon. So we're done. We've defined our equation. Now, one of the really nifty things about ExtendSim's equations is that you can actually test them without having to run the simulation model. So, if I put a value in for the threshold, let's say of 1 here, and a random value of 1.5, so we're just putting some values into test and see how the equation works, I can click on the Test Equation button down here in the lower right-hand corner of the block, and this will actually execute the equation. Now if you watch closely, you'll actually see the equation compile. You see a window flash up very quickly, too quickly to read, but that's actually compiling the equation. So I click on this test equation button, and we can see that, yes, indeed our random value was greater than the threshold, and we added one to the counter. And if I click this test equation again, I'll see that every time I click it, I'm adding one more to the counter. So let's test a different random value. Let's test 0.5 and we'll reinitialize our counter to zero. And now when I test the equation, we'll see that no matter how many times I click, I click on the test equation button and run the equation, my counter does not increment. So I'm pretty confident that my equation is doing what I want it to do. 
So the last thing we need to do is connect up our equation to the rest of the model. So I'll connect my threshold up to the threshold input and my random value up to the random value input. And this is a continuous model. I believe it's set up to run for a thousand time units. Um, and our step size is one, so we'll get a thousand and one iterations of our equation. So I'll run this and it ran there. And we'll see that out of a thousand iterations, our random value exceeded the threshold 309 times. And I can run this again and again, and I can see slightly different results each time I run. So we had 326 that time. So thank you very much. This is Dave Crawl from Imagine That, reminding you to keep your simulations real.